Hello everyone, my name is Teo Salvador. Welcome back to another episode of Run 8. We are here in Porphyry Yard, uh, exactly where we left off in the last episode. As you can see, the yard is more full than the previous episode. Uh, between last episode and this episode, we had another supply train come in. Arcal 0141 came in. We're going to be running the Arcal 0171 local today. First things first, we have to get the SD40s attached to uh, the rest of this train. And we have a defect detector, apparently. Because this string here is Arcal 0171, and the string to the left is Arcal 0171. So let's do that real quick. By the way, I do have a Run8 server. If you'd be interested on joining my community Run8 server, all you gotta do is join the Discord and request membership. Alright, let's get this show on the road here. Um, it is... What, what day is today? Today is uh, Saturday. I know I was gonna have Run8 out on Wednesday, and then I postponed it to Thursday. And then I postponed it to Friday, and now it's Saturday, and we finally have a Run 8 episode coming out. By the way, we got new sound effects put together by server member Volcano. They are available to download on the server. I gotta say, they do sound good. And by the way, off screen, we got a set of SD40 switchers that came to the yard, so they're gonna be helping us run the local today. Alright, let's put on the brake here. We got a street coming up, so you do gotta be a little bit careful here. Actually, we might be able to stop before the street. There we go. Hopefully, everybody's having a good start to the weekend. I. I probably yep we're, we're we're fine all right there we go we're stopped let's put this into neutral here and we will back up and connect the train to the rest of the consist all right here we go by the way um i heard that the roseville subdivision came out which has donner pass unfortunately i hear that it doesn't connect uh to the rest of the soul cal region so i i don't think i'm gonna be checking it out anytime soon unless um, they build the subdivision that's between SoCal and Donner Pass, because I think that's what somebody was talking about. But it looks pretty good. Oh, good sounds. Ah, there we go. It's a shame that it doesn't connect to the rest of the SoCal region yet, because you got to admit, it looks pretty good. All right, well, let's get the show on the road. Um, enough jibber-jabbering and talking. We're going to get an EOT here. Uh, because we're going to be taking control of the BNSF SD40s because the industries we have to service are over there. The industries that way are RCAL 0141, which is uh, the freight cars that are currently sitting in the yard. So let's get going. Well, we got none of the train passing us, so uh, we're going to have to move down a little bit, and we're going to have to wait for this train to go bye-bye because we need to go on the track that this train's currently on. So, all right, I'm going to turn that on. There we go. Why is it always raining whenever I start recording? I mean, look at this. It's dark. It's, it's raining. The old man's crying. It's terrible. All right, that train that just passed us is long gone. I already flipped the switch, so we're good to enter the main line. If we look at auto here, we actually have one more train coming. Uh, looks like it's a bar table, and I, I... Where is he going? Not really too sure, but he's going towards L.A., which is pretty cool.
All right, we got a red light coming up. Normally when I'm running locals, I would just ignore red lights. However, what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna tone auto and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get some clearance on this line here so that no other trains get rooted this way. My hope is he roots me in a good direction. Or actually, you know what's something I could do? Um, hmm. Oh no, I don't think I, uh, I probably. Okay, I'm gonna hit that. So I hit destination block assigned. And basically what this does is it tells auto that I want to go to this spot. So I request signal, and if we were on multiplayer, you'd look on the top left and it would say uh, BNSF6942 requesting specific destination. And that is basically this section that I just highlighted here. So he should route me over there, because my fear is that he's going to route me to the uh, left track or the, the topmost track. Which is obviously what I don't want to have happen. Um, that probably made no sense. You know what? At the end of the day, we have a green light. So there we go. Alright, let's get up to speed here. We're already going on 6. Alright, we're going to go on 8. 6 was allowing us to maintain about 15 miles an hour, which was pretty good. We got a street coming up, and I believe that the first industry is way yonder, so we got a little bit of traveling to do before we make it to the first industry, but I believe it's BHM, which is... I think it's on the other end of the train, so that's that's unfortunate. Ah, whatever. Why does my conductor always look so shocked? I mean, like, seriously, he looks at me and stares at me like he sees a demon or something within the cab. What is up with that? Well, look at that guy. I don't know. Maybe he's scared for his life because I'm the one operating the train. Maybe that's what it is. I mean, let's be honest. Have you guys seen what happened in Stormworks the other day? Well, actually, the, the last, like, five episodes. No wonder he's scared. <laughs> Sorry, Mateo's trying to get a thumbnail shot for the video. Man, it's the same guy from West Colton. Why does he look so depressed? Not gonna lie, I feel like that guy's judging him. Why are these two guys so judgy? Like, look at their facial expressions. They look like they're judging this poor soul. Man. I feel bad for him now. Well, we got a train coming, but no wonder he's so depressed. Everybody's judging him. Aw, that's really sad. What is this supposed to be? What, what is this train that's passing us? A bar table? Why? Uh, I gotta get the, uh, I gotta get the other intermodal packs. Maybe I'll get those next. I don't think I'm gonna pick up Roseville anytime soon. Um... I, I haven't really looked at Seligman at all, but I have no plans of getting them, so maybe I'll get the intermodal packs.
Okay, so the first industry is right here on the right. That is BHM. Um, if you watched the video I made a couple weeks ago, we built the supply train for this. Um, and I don't know what where BHM is. So we're actually struggling right now. Look at that. We have a point, a point eight grade, which is actually pretty fair. Um, all right, let's just take a look here. Uh, what is BHM? I think BHM is way over here. Yep, of course. It's at the rear of the train, which I guess is fine. Um, I mean, I guess that's fine. It, it just, it'll make it a little more difficult when we're trying to switch this, so whatever. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous to put on the brake right now because we're going uphill. So I, I guess we'll just continue on this course for now and uh, hope for the best. I'm saying this because we went from going like 40 miles an hour to going 23 and we're still slowing down. So yeah, we probably wouldn't have hurt if we had more power on this. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit further and then we're gonna start applying the brake. All right, actually, you know what, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put this to neutral, uh, or I'm just gonna idle it now. Yeah, we got another street here. I gotta say, I'm really liking San Bernardino. I'm having a lot of fun on this. And hopefully, uh, you know, if you have this sub, you're having a good time on it as well. It's very good. Well, luckily, it looks like the gradient's going down, so... This should make things a little bit easier now that the, uh, you know, we're, we're on a little more flatter ground here. All right, well, we're going slow enough. What I'm going to do is put on the brake, and I'm going to bring the train to a stop here. All right, there we go. That should do right there. Oops, my bad. Not mean to do that. All right, and uh, we're just going to disconnect the train here. I'm going to do that, do that, disconnect that, open up the coupler, and let's try to move this thing forward. No, please don't back. Oh, dang it. Well, here we go. Um, we're moving at 3.2 miles an hour currently. It's not great. It's not terrible. It's just 3.6 Ronkin, or I guess 3.2 Ronkin in this scenario, because, uh, it, uh, yeah, it's bad jokes. Point is, it's not great, not terrible. We're moving, and that's good enough for me. All right, and we'll put on the brake, and train shouldn't have too much trouble going to the stop, although we're on flat ground now, at least the head end is. I think, I think this little bit here is about 15%. So there we go. Backing this thing in should be pretty easy. We're just going to have to monitor speed and we should be fine. All right. So let's let's just try to back this up slowly and maybe we won't break any couplers today. Well, auto doesn't like me anymore. See you later. Contact the dispatcher when you're ready to go. Well, that's fine. That's okay. And we're going seven miles an hour now, which is fine. Actually, we're slowing down. So that's actually, well, I say we slow down, but then we start to speed up to eight miles an hour. So that's, that's fine. Let's, uh, you know, let's just... Give the brake minimal application, shall we? Oh gosh, start slowing down. I just realized that there's no buffer here. <gasps> All right, there we go, and we don't have a buffer there, so we got to be really careful here. Yeah, we just got pieces of wood uh, as, like, end markers, which is just wonderful. All right, let's go over here real quick, and what car will we disconnect? I think this one here. Yeah. All right, how many is this? One, two, three, seven. I want to say that this industry takes 14, or at least that's how many I put on the supply train. All right, watch your ears. All right. Okay, and right there should do. There we go. Let's bring the train to a stop. And we shall very carefully just back this in here. All right. Ever so carefully bring this in here. You know, just apply brake here. It's okay. I use the emergency handbrake.
All right, right there should do just fine. And let's just go over here real quick to see if we are, in fact, in the industry. I think we are. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we will uncouple this here. Oh, and look at that. We can immediately open up the coupler. Watch your ears. All right, we're good. Uh, let's close that up. The coupler's already open, and we can just very carefully pull this train forward. And then we will go off to the next industry, which should be on the right-hand side. Okay, we have the train hooked up to the SD40s on the other side of the train, so let's get this show on the road and get to the next industry. Okay, we're chugging along here. We have another train coming. Look at that. It looks like it's an auto rack. It's got an SD70, looks like, leading. Not sure what that second locomotive is, but that's pretty cool. Let's see. What is it? Ooh, uh, it's uh, got an ES44 and an SD70 trailing. That's pretty cool. this guy's really hauling it, isn't he? Yeah, he's moving it. Doesn't look like he has any DPUs at all. Actually, he might have a rear DPU. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have any rear DPUs. This guy's just running on his own. There we go. Nice. So, the next industry should be just to the right right there, and um, I should flip a switch. Okay, we're gonna flip this one. Uh, because the industry we need to go into is CRP, and CRP is just right here. So, all right, sounds good. All right, so the speed limit is 15 miles an hour. I am going to just idle the train and give it minimal brake application so that we can just start slowing down here. There we go. Oh, gosh. There we go. We should be good, even though we're speeding. We're going 10 over. Oh! No, we're fine. Sorry, I underestimated a couple different things. It's okay, we're fine. Took a little bit quick, but whatever. I'm gonna... All right, well, here we are. I don't think we're gonna fit in the siding, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to use the main line and... Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm gonna start putting on the brake here. I'd like it. I, you know, I probably put on the brake a little bit late. I. No, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, we're good. No, we got this. All right, let's put this on neutral, dim the lights, and disconnect the SD40s. Oops, I stopped my recorder. That works. All right. Now we can pull forward. 
I guess we'll just park the first batch into this first siding here, and then we'll just park the last bit into the back parts. It should all fit because we tested this out when we were building the supply train, if you remember to a couple episodes back. Uh, we built the supply train for this. It should all fit. Sometimes, though, I make mistakes and I give myself one extra car, or I become a little cocky and things don't fit. Oh, gosh, that looked violent. Okay, that, that was a very violent stop just then. All right, let's back this thing up and get it parked into the industry. What is it with these industries and not using buffers? Why do they use wooden boards? Wooden boards force me to be extra careful because we can go off the track and potentially ruin everything. Okay, right there should do. And right there should do. So let's get this disconnected here. Is it going to service right there? Yes, it is. Okay. Man, that's a little scary not having a buffer. I, I don't know why these industries don't use a buffer. Why don't they extend this, by the way? That's just something I'm wondering. Man, maybe I got to look at this industry on Google Earth. All right. Okay, so reckon I'll disconnect this one here. And let's grab the SD40s again and continue on. You know what one nice thing about dropping off cargo is? Your train keeps getting smaller and smaller. And so as you run your local, it gets easier and easier to move your train. Because, I mean, right there alone, we just lost about 30 cars, I think. And let's carry on to the next industry. All right, the next industry is a little ways away, and it is on the left-hand track. Um, if I actually zoom in here, it's right where this U Union Pacific train is. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get over to that track, and it'll help us switching. Uh, but I'm not too sure if Auto's going to let us over there. I suppose time will tell. I'm going to get past this signal first and see if I can request it. Because if I request it now, he's not going to give me anything because this isn't a control point. So, there we go. Let's see here. I'm not too sure where the next light is, but it's worth a shot. All right. Now that we're past that light, I'm going to tone him. And see if he'll give me passage to the other track. 
because um, I gave myself... I, I, I told him I wanted to go here, so... Hopefully, he'll route that... Whatever train is uh, at West Colton, hopefully he'll route it somewhere else. Alright, let's see. If we go to Cajon, there's actually a BNSF train going over the Diamond right now. It's an intermodal. Um, and my hope is, is that... Uh, oh, actually... He might have to wait for us. We'll have to see. Oh, uh, let's see. All right, whatever. We'll have to figure it out then. Auto. I don't think Auto's going to give me rooting. He's probably going to give me a red light, so we're going to have to wait anyways. All right. Well, whatever. I'm going to idle it because we're actually really getting up to speed now. I'm going to start putting on the brake because I'm not too sure uh, where this red light's going to be. And it's probably like right around the corner here. So I, I probably am already too late. Oh, no, no, we're fine, actually. All right. I, I'd like to slow down just a hair, though. Because we do have a red light coming up. And I'm guessing that auto is actually going to do what I want him to do. So that, that's actually really helpful. We're probably going to have to wait for that intermodal to pass by. And then we have something else over here. But my hope is that Auto will route him to main two. If Auto routes him to main two or has him wait for us, that'll make things very helpful. I don't know. I don't know what the man's intentions are going to be, though. Auto is very unpredictable. So I guess we'll have to figure that out. Going 32 miles an hour now. Not too bad. Speed limit's 40 through here. Uh, yeah. All right. Got to get prepared to stop here. So our next industry is CLW. Um, I think it's CLW. However, I'm going to drop off CLE and CE. What is, uh, what's right behind us? RHS first. And we'll leave CLW for last. Because CLW is actually in the other direction. So um, we're going to have to use those engines that we brought in the rear of the train to push CLW in. All right. I'm going to give it some power because I think... We're going to start going uphill now. I don't want to lose our momentum, so. Actually, the red light's right there, so. Um, maybe we just stop. Yeah, all right. I'm going to have to start putting on the brake here. Get a minimal application here. There we go. So far, so good. Oh, no. No, no. Okay, do that, because that'll be helpful. There we go. Right. Is there a street here? I don't know where there's a street. Oh, wait a second. That's the light. Not that one. That's the light right there. Okay. All right. Well, we're going 14 miles an hour now. Everything should be just fine. The gates are down, but I don't believe that's for me. Um. Oh, hello? Are you okay? Are you, are you okay, conductor, sir? You look like you're about to pass out. All right. Well, that that's not for me. I th well, actually, that is for me, but I'm not going to go across the crossing because we are stopping at a red light to wait for an intermodal to pass. And then auto will route us around and we can be happy. All right. There we go. Nice. Like a glove. I think that this is my smoothest stop yet. Honestly. And now to play a waiting game. All right, well, it doesn't look like anything's coming. Um, there was a, a, a UP train that got rooted through here just a couple seconds ago. And um, he actually went this way. And if you go this way, it essentially takes you to Streeter. What's going on here? There's something going on up here. Somebody has a red light. Why do you have a red light? What's your issue? Are you, are you guys nose to nose here? Oh, okay, we might have an issue. Train coming? No trains coming yet. Let's take a look. I see. We have a couple trains that are gridlocked here. Because Otto is a big dumb dum and has two trains facing the same direction. Let's, let's just delete this guy. There we go. And now, this train should be able to go and everything's fine now. Well, just checking the lights here. There is a green light for the intermodal that's coming, so that's pretty cool. 
And there we go. That train that was blocking the other train is now moving. So Otto gave this guy a green light. Um, I, I don't know what caused this. It could have been a matter of one train being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Could have been a mix of other things. Otto just being a big dumb dumb. And well, we're kind of just waiting here. No trains are coming yet. There's our SD40 over there. I wonder what is this supposed to be? It's supposed to be like a, an old Amtrak station. Well, it certainly leads to an Amtrak station, that's for sure. I hear a train horn in the distance. I see the train. The train is coming. Wow, and he's booking it too. Let's be a Falmer and watch this, shall we? We'll watch the train drop the signal. We'll just watch it from right here, shall we? Look at that. It's an intermodal. It's got a couple boxcars. It's got a bunch of uh, piggyback trailers as well, I saw. Auto will hopefully give us a green light soon. And we should go over to the left track. Unless there's something else we're waiting for. But... So, Auto's being very friendly to us today. That's actually really good to hear. Okay, and if we get rooted correctly, we should go to the left. There we go, yep, and we're going to go to the left here, which will allow us to access the last three industries that we have on this route. And then to end the episode off, we're going to return these SD-40s to Porphyry? Porphyry. That's, man, who would name, who would name a town that? Porphyry, Porphyry. Periphery. I like periphery, but it's not that. Maybe it's periphery? Peri pe pe I don't even know. Point is, we're going to return these locomotives at the end of the episode and uh, pass all the stuff we did. That should be a lot of fun. We got a little ways to go, so one hurt giving the train some power here. Man, it's the same guys. He's still depressed. And those guys are still judging him. Jeez Louise, we're really getting up to speed, aren't we? Oh, we have another street. Alright, I'm going to idle it now because the speed limit's going to go down to 40 and two and a half miles. And I'm not too sure what the gradient's going to look like, so we got to be really careful now. Jeez Louise, look at that. 
I mean, this is this is okay. All right, I'm gonna start applying the brake here. Um, I'm not too sure f how far we have to go down before we get to the next industry. It shouldn't be too far, unless maybe it will be, but I still like to slow down a little bit. We do have an orange light anyways. Um, all right, well, we still got a little ways away until we're, we're done. Um, I, I'm gonna guess that the industry is gonna be before this control point, so, or it's either gonna be before it or right at it, so. Uh, we're, we're not going to go any further than High Grove to get to our industries. We do have a street coming up as well. And I'm going to give it some power here because we're starting to go a little bit too slow. Speed limit's 40. Oh, look at that. The industries are right here, actually. Let me get the brake then. I underestimated how close they were. This is fine. Man, I gotta say, this is a good horn on it. But I, I, I think I know which one that came with. Alright, let's start slowing down. I'm just gonna bring the train to a stop and we're gonna figure our lives out. Alright, I like to. There we go, we're fine. Alright, here we go, we come to a stop. I'm gonna dim that. Uh, we're gonna turn off the sand and. Let's just real quick take a look at our bearings here. Way over here we have RHS. Right here we have CLE. Um, the first set of cars here is RHS. And then we have CLW and C... Of course, that's just typical, isn't it? CLE is going to be right at the end, of course. All right, well, how about we do this then? Um, I am going to do that. Put a fence on this thing so that the uh, rear SD40s don't start powering up. And I'm going to leave this right here. Just back up a little bit. What this will allow us to do is shove uh, CLW into the industry. And then we will get CLE and we'll connect CLE to RHS. Then we'll pull forward. We'll pull, put CLE into its spot. Oh, geez. We'll put CLE into its spot and then park RHS and that's going to be it. Shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, we can start putting on the brake now because we are out of the way of the siding and then we will pull all those center beam cars in. That should do right about there. There we go. All right. All right, we'll flip the switch here and we'll park CLW into its place. All right, let's be a little bit careful here. Taking this turn a little bit quicker than I want to. We're going 13 miles an hour. I suppose it's not too bad, but it's not ideal. All right, CLW should fit just fine. Although, I may have put an extra... No, I don't think so. No, I, we should be fine. I was going to say, I might have put an extra center beam car, but I think we'll be okay. Looks like we have enough space, at least. Finally, an industry decides to use a buffer. All right. There we go, like a glove, right about here should do, actually. We'll probably ram into the buffer, but who cares? There we go. See, that's the positives of having a buffer. It, it saves us from going off the track. And it fits a lot better than I thought it would. I mean, I'm the one that built the supply train. I should know that it'll fit. Meanwhile, Mr. Viva La Macaroni from uh, My Summer Car is here uh, operating the uh, lift, it looks like. And let's carry on then. You know what? I'm going to stop the train. I have an idea. 
because I, I don't think I need those rear SD40s right now. I mean, uh, RHS and CLE, they both go in the same direction, so I, I, I technically could probably just use these front BNSF locomotives and be just fine. So let's leave the train here for a second. And I'm just going to disconnect this. And we'll just leave these locomotives here. Jeez, that was violent on the coupler. All right, let's flip the switch here and uh, get CLE into its place. Well, I'm on neutral right now, and I'm kind of just rolling backwards, so this is fine. I'm just rolling backwards. The train is pushing itself down the hill. That's, you know what, I'm, I'm, f I'm fine with this. Now, question of the year is we don't have a buffer, so I, that answers that question. I guess it wasn't the question of the year. All right, I'm going to real quick just do that and give it minimal... I'm going to give it half break. Uh, I don't know what the term I'm looking for is. You know, I started recording at 4 o'clock. It's almost 11 p.m. right now. Obviously, you might be able to tell my voice that I'm actually tired than I was at the beginning. Obviously, that took more time. All right, and right there should do. We have a train coming. Oh, check that out. Oh, it's like a auto rack. Oh, listen to those sounds. Got a Dash 9 as well. Check that out. Well, that's pretty cool. We have an unexpected auto rack coming in. So what we'll do is we'll just leave this here. Lock your ears. There we go. And last but not least, RHE. All right, we got the brake on. Let's uh, flip this switch here. So first we have the box cars. Um, I'm going to start reversing the train here while I'm at it. Hopefully we don't speed too much. All right, just give myself some momentum. There we go. Two miles an hour, start going downhill here. This is a downhill slope, so we should be just fine. Uh, the box hill, the box hills, the box hills, box cars, excuse me, are going uh, to the right here. And uh, the center beams are going to go to the left. And, uh, well, these, uh, yep, these boxcars are certainly rolling. And, of course, we have non-existent buffers. Yay. Love them. I'm going 14 miles an hour. I should put on the brake. Ah, give me a break. Oh, give me a break and slow down. All right, I think we're fine. I, I, I just, I, I, I gotta just manage the break here, because, oh man, you gotta admit, that actually does sound pretty good. And right about there should do. Ow, that was loud. Alright, so let's flip the switch and get the last little bit of cargo here. And then we're actually done with this job and all the industries have been serviced.
Oh man, I'm not even paying attention. Going 15 miles an hour here. And I'm just gonna start slowing it. Oh, that sounds good. Those, those, those add-on sound effects. They do sound really, really good. Oh, and by the way, while I was recording this episode, I was having a discussion on Discord. Um, I might be creating a defect detector with my voice. I don't know. We were talking about the defect detector voice on a, uh, well, on the uh, Run 8 channel. And um, I, I don't know. I got an idea of maybe making my own defect detector voice. But I'm using my voice. And obviously, if you know me well, um, that's going to be a lot of fun because I stutter a lot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you can imagine. Uh, it's, um, uh, BNSF, defect, de 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 defector, de de defector, defector. Uh, BNSF defect detector, milepost one seven yada yada yada. No depex, 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 depex. That was just me acting, but you you get the point. If you've been on my channel long enough, you know that that's what ends up happening. That lump here. See what I mean? So imagine me stuttering, but in a defect detector. <laughs> You know, it's that moment, right, when you're acting like something's going wrong, and then suddenly something actually does go wrong, and you're like, I was just supposed to be making a demonstration here. Well, um... Alright, well, that was the last of our set out, so let's go back to the yard now. And you know what? I'm gonna see you in five hours. And good morning. It is 6.27 a.m. I've slept. I have a lot more energy, as you can see. Um, yeah. When I, I went to bed. It was like 11.30, I think. So I feel a lot better. I woke up at like 5 o'clock, as I normally do. Um, people who are on my Discord server know that I wake up ridiculous or... Uh, obviously, despite sleeping, I still can't speak. But people on my Discord server know that I sleep... And I wake up at the wee hours of the morning, sometimes 4 a.m. to like 5 a.m. I'm up. On this occasion, however, I actually slept later. I woke up at uh, 5.40, so... Oh, yeah, I slept in, I guess. Oh, gosh. Let's fly real quick and flop that. All right, ever so carefully. Let's not smash the two train engines together, shall we? Uh... Hold on. Relax. Don't break so early. Gosh. You know, it. this game's kind of like Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator in one aspect. And it's the idea of having a train behind you versus um, just having light engines. And how in, like, when you're playing American Truck Simulator, right, you're hauling these, like, really heavy trailers and whatnot. And then you drop the trailer off and now you're bobtailing and the truck feels so different because you don't have a heavy trailer behind you and it almost feels pain, pain, blah, blah, painful. And by the way, do you know one other thing? Um, I've never taken time to notice fuel consumption in this game. Um, I had these locomotives full of fuel when I started the episode and look at how much fuel they used. I'm not saying that that's significant, but I never really pay attention to fuel consumption. Fuel consumption isn't really a thing to worry about in Run 8. I've never ran out of fuel. I actually don't know what happens when you run out of fuel. That might be something cool to test, actually. Alright, before we take off, we're going to turn this engine off. We're going to turn this guy off. We're going to turn all these en- Oh, no. I didn't mean to start this engine. Do you reckon this single engine will have enough power to pull this? I think it will. Oh, yeah. She's pulling it just fine.
All right, speed limit's 50 now. Uh, we're going 49, so we're just fine. And the yard should be just around this bend here. Hmm. That could be really complicated. Oh, that'd be kind of interesting. Oh, shut up, alerter. Quiet, alerter. Nobody likes you. Oh, my gosh. Gotta slow down. <laughs> okay, do you notice how... Oh! This thing does not prepare me for the slow speed limit. I, I should have had, like, a 15-mile-an-hour zone way back there. Come on, now. All right, we're just going to park it in this first track here. We have those uh, we have those other freight cars that we're going to have to deliver to the industry. I might do that one off screen, and then in the next episode, maybe we'll go to Union Pacific, and we will run LOH 45 or LOP... What is it? No, it's LOS 53? LOS 45? I don't remember. I don't know. It's sitting at West Colton currently. I think both of them are, actually. Or maybe we'll run something else. We'll run an intermodal. Let me know what you want to see. Because I suppose if everyone wants to see something in particular, we can always do that. Running the local jobs are a lot of fun because it allows me to get cool shots and we're not moving so fast. And we kind of get to chill a little more. All right. Oh, man, it's a busy day at Bar uh, Barstow at West Colton. Check this out. We have a, uh, a manifest train going towards... Um, where's he going, actually? Not too sure where he's going, but he's coming from L.A. And we have a piggyback train uh, just over here with, uh, with freight cars going into West Colton Yard. These are going to the City of Industries. Um, let's see here. So over here, we have two trains that arrived. I'm using West Colton as like a, like a waypoint because AI will actually route trains into West Colton. So if I have a train coming from, uh, Fresno or something, I can always route them to West Colton and it, it, it helps me out, especially as a guy playing single player. Um, one day, they will have AI that will run locals. That will be a lot of fun when we have AI that run locals. Oh, check this out. This guy has a couple DPUs. Um, so we have LOS 29. That's going to City of Industry, so that's why it still has power on it. And then we have LOH 45. And LOH 45, all the industries for LOH 45 are um, just over here. So maybe we'll run LOH 45 in the next episode. I don't know. Look at that. we got a whole bunch of industries here. Ka is actually a separate... Um, a separate local and it takes green cars so maybe we'll do something like that in the next episode maybe we'll run intermodal or next episode we could run these intermodal trains uh these tr this train here is going well both of these trains are going to the intermodal terminal in san bernardino or west colton um so that could be something fun we could do and as you can see we got a lot of freight cars here look at how long the intermodal train is we're gonna have to go this way and then turn the train that way um, this is City of Industries, by the way, on the San Bernardino sub. And so that one train that has to go here is going to get parked on one of this yard here. And this train's going to go the other direction towards West Colton, which is then going to get rooted to Chicago on a BNSF train. So there we go. Um, my train's rolling. Um, I, <laughs> that was really scary. So I just came to the yard, right? And I, I teleported. And I'm like, where are my locomotives that I just parked here? They've been rolling. They've been rolling. That's a 0 0.3 grade. Why was it rolling? That was really scary. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Run 8. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a like. Join my Discord. Join my community server. It's free. All you got to do is ask for membership, and we can give you membership to the server, and you can play along. We have a bunch of new members right now, so uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. And we're testing out some new supply trains, so if you'd like to be a part of that, feel free to join. Anyways, that's going to do it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Peace!